NVIDIA just announced its second generation RTX GPUs based off its brand new Ampere architecture and threw out a bunch of impressive claims. So what does it mean and should you upgrade? Well, let's take a look at what they debuted. The 2018's 20 series RTX NVIDIA cards were a major step forward in GPU technology, especially the way hardware displays lighting and things like reflections and other realistic effects. You've probably heard the term ray tracing thrown around a lot, and yeah, that's exactly what the RTX series introduced to the PC gaming world. Well, two years after the debut of NVIDIA's RTX cards, the second generation version, which refreshes the architecture altogether, is finally here. It's called Ampere, and it's in the form of the 30 series graphics cards. Now, if you want to understand the nitty gritty silicon details, watch the event replay over on our CNET Highlights channel. I'm not going to get into that right now, but all you need to know is that the 30 series cards, most notably the new flagship 3080 card, doubles the performance of last generation's flagship that was called the 2080. To convey this improvement, NVIDIA usually shows off some kind of real-time demo, and with this debut, they up the specs of a super satisfying physics sandbox called Marbles, and then they compared this new Ampere architecture against last generation's Turing technology. In just a simple sort of side-by-side -side comparison, the spec bump is impressive. They're going from 25 frames per second at 720p up to 30 frames per second at 1440p. Now, yes, this is a proprietary custom design demo to show off the new GPU, but it's nevertheless effective. And then we got confirmation of what the actual card is going to look like. And yeah, this design had already leaked, but it was interesting to hear how its newly conceived cooling system works. So NVIDIA is saying that it's dual axial flow through, which features fans that push and pull at the same time, allow the 3080 to operate three times quieter and up to 20 degrees cooler than last gen's design. But like a lot of these reveals, I like to keep an eye on the step down off that flagship GPU. So in this case, I'm talking about that 3070 that they only kind of touched on for a few minutes. It's $200 cheaper than the 3080 at $500, and it outperforms last generation's 2080 Ti, which if you really keep track of all these GPUs, that's really impressive. NVIDIA says the new Ampere cards are the biggest generational leap that they've ever made based off relative performance. So of course, that raises the question of whether or not now is the time to upgrade your personal GPU. For me, this feels like a really good time for people with those older 900 series of cards to upgrade, and maybe even those with a lower, maybe entry level 10 series card. If you have a last generation RTX 20 series card, I think that's a tougher sell. Don't listen to me, do what you want with your money, right? And yeah, look, if money is no object, why not plunk down $1,500 on the almost hilariously huge RTX 3090, which is freaking just basically NASA in a damn box. It's designed for 8K gaming, so I don't know, you're finally gonna get to use that 8K display you have. All right, I hope that was helpful. I am personally super excited for these new GPUs. So sound off and let me know what you think in the comments section below. Stay safe, everyone, and as always, thanks so much for watching.